So for today we're going to be painting this cherry blossom wine glass. You can see it, I think it's very cute. So just first things first, we want to make sure that the glass is really clean. This is a, just alcohol in a bottle. Go ahead and spray this and then we can wipe it off. We'll make sure that there's no fingerprints or oil or dirt on here so that the paint can stick well. And then be careful not to touch it. For the paint, we're going to be using Folk Art Enamels. This is specifically designed for glass. And then I've got a couple little brushes here, as well as Q-tips, which I'll be showing you what those are for in just a second. So to start with, we're going to start with these branches here. I'm just using a dark brown that I actually made myself from a lighter brown and some black paint. And we're going to start from the base of the glass here. And we're going to go up. And you definitely want to leave the top inch of the glass here empty in case you want to drink out of it later. And these do not have to be smooth branches. They can be nice and bumpy. And you can put some larger branches, some smaller branches. And you're going to go around and keep adding more branches. And just do that all the way around the glass many as you want. So as you can see now, we have nice little branches going all the way around our glass. And now we are ready to go ahead and add the flowers. And this is actually where the Q-tip comes in handy. So I've developed a little technique I like to use here. We take our light pink and we're going to just do in a circle five little dots. See that? And then in the middle, you use the other side of the Q-tip, you're going to put a little dot of red. And now we take our skinny little brush again and we're gonna take this red and we're gonna just we're gonna pull it out into the pink a little bit and there we have a flower let's go ahead and do another one so back to our q-tip and you don't have to just do these on the ends. I like to do them kind of in the middle of the branches. Put the red in the middle. Take our little brush and we go and pull it out. Let's do one more here. All right, so there you can see we have three so far. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a whole bunch more.
So now that we've got as many flowers as we want, and you can really keep going until you're happy, um, I like to go back to our little detail brush again and add some little red dots on the end of some of these, which should be some of the little buds that haven't grown up yet. And you can add these wherever you like. And then, on some of these other branches, just to fill them in a little bit more, I have to go back to our pink and put just some little dots, maybe like the uh, flowers are falling down the tree there, petals are blowing in the wind, something like that. I don't really have any specific logic for it, it just looks good. You can once again put these wherever they can go in between branches. It just kind of helps fill it in. Pretty happy with that. And now we're going to go ahead and do the stem of the glass here. So I just recommend holding it from the top. We're going back to our brown with our bigger brush. And we're just going to go ahead and cover this whole thing. And you can do the bottom of the stem here as well if you want. You don't have to, but I like to, especially with this painting. And on this step, just make sure you give it a nice thick coat. Then we're going to let that dry a minute and come back. So we've let this dry a little bit on the stem. Now we're going to go back with our little detail brush and our pink. We're just going to add some little details on the bottom here. To start with, I like to just do some pink dots. And you can do this with your Q-tip as well if you'd like. Once again, you can do this as much or as little as you want. These are simply flower petals that have fallen. And I like to also do some going up the side here. And what looks really cute is if you do it in a pattern that kind of goes around the glass. You would just turn the glass as you go. So that your dots kind of wrap around the glass with you. And you can just keep going all the way up with that.
Um, one last thing you can do as well if you'd like, which can add a little more cute detail, is to have some little pink dots going underneath the flowers as if there's some petals falling. So you can definitely do that if you'd like. And there you have it. We have our cherry blossom wine glass. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.